Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, by the Lord most Lord God most high, above all women on the earth, for he has so exalted your name that your praise shall be underlined on our lips. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we gather today, we come to celebrate the memorial of Our Lady of Fatima, who on this day in 1917 appeared to three small children, Lucia, Jacinta, and Francisco, in the small town of Fatima in Portugal, um, instructing them to continue to pray the rosary for the salvation of the world and to pray for peace, which is what we continue to do in our lives as well. And so as we gather today under the intercession of Our Lady of Fatima, let us together prepare our hearts as we continue to pray for peace by preparing ourselves to receive Christ and asking him for his love, his mercy, and his forgiveness. You were said to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who chose the mother of your Son to be our mother also, grant us that perse persevering in penance and prayer for the salvation of the world we may further more effectively each day the reign of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some who had come down from Judea were instructing the brothers Unless you are circumcised according to the Mosaic practice, you cannot be saved, because there arose no little dissension and debate by Paul and Barnabas with them. It was decided that Paul, Barnabas, and some of the others should go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and presbyters about this question. They were sent on their journey by the church and passed through Phoenicia and Samaria, telling of the conversion of the Gentiles, and brought great joy to all the brethren. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church, as well as by the apostles and the presbyters, and they reported what God has, had done with them. But some from the party of the Pharisees who had become believers, stood up and said, It is necessary to circumcise them and direct them to observe the Mosaic law. The apostles and presbyters met together to see about this matter. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoiced because they said to me, We will go up to the house of the Lord, and now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let, Let us go, go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem built as a city with compact unity. To it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord, in it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Very much. 
much fruit. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and every one that does, he prunes so that bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire and they will be burned. If you remain in me and my works remain in you, ask for whatever you want and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Our gospel continues on with the last discourse, the last message that Jesus gives to his disciples at the Last Supper as he continues to instruct them to remain in him. We heard in the last few days, in the last weeks, Jesus instructing his disciples to remain in him, that, the, that he will send an advocate to be with them, that he will send them peace, as we heard yesterday. Today, in our gospel, Jesus uses the example, he uses the image of a vine and branches, saying that he is the vine, and we, the branches that grow forth from the vine. But in order for a vine, in order for its branches to grow effectively, it needs to be pruned. And that is what Jesus says to us in the gospel today. We need to be pruned in our relationship with God, to cut away those things that do not allow us to grow closer to our loving Father and to keep and to nurture and sustain the things that allow us to center ourselves deeper and more firmly in our relationship with God. Jesus reminds us that without the vine, the branch is nothing. A branch cannot grow anything on its own. It needs the vine which brings up the nutrients from the ground to its branches that allow it to bear fruit. Such is our relationship with God as well. In order to fully and effectively be ministers of Christ, if we are to go out and continue to do the good things that God has instructed us to do, it is important for us to continue to be connected to Jesus, to continue to shape ourselves and to grow by removing those things that keep us away from God and sharpening and honing those practices that allow us to grow deeper in our relationship with Him. Luckily for us, we have a great intercessor. We have a great saint who continues to watch out for us and helps us in that way of pruning ourselves, in shaping ourselves to continue to be true branches in our, in our relationship with the vine of Christ. Today, as we come to celebrate the memorial of Our Lady of Fatima, we celebrate our Blessed Mother, who continues to be the way for us to get to know Jesus even deeper, who, who allows us to be connected to her Son in a beautiful and profound way. And in a special way, this is the message of Our Lady of Fatima, who commends us and instructs us to continue to prune ourselves spiritually as we continue to set forth to preach and to share the good news of Christ for the salvation of the world. Mary instructed those three humble shepherd children to continue to pray, to pray especially for conversion, 
for a repentant of heart, for a dedication to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. All things that allow us to prune ourselves in being effective branches for Christ. Today, as we celebrate Our Lady of Fatima, as we remember the message that she gave, not just to those three children, but to each and every one of us, may we continue in praying for the salvation of the world. May we continue to find ways to dedicate ourselves in growing closer to the vine of Christ by pruning away those edges, those rough things that keep us away from Christ, and by continuing to pray for conversion, continuing to pray for repentance of heart, continuing to dedicate ourselves to the Immaculate Heart of Mary and centering ourselves on that beautiful prayer of the Rosary. May we continue to grow close to the vine of Christ, be the branches that bear much fruit as we continue to go forth preach the good news of Christ every day. Recognizing that Christ is the true vine and we the branches, let us connect it to him Bring to our loving God our prayers and petitions. We pray for our church, that we, under the patronage of our Blessed Mother, Our Lady of Fatima, continue to share in the work that Christ has sent for us to pray for the salvation of the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for all leaders around the world. May they continue to promote ways of peace, health and safety to the people that have been entrusted to them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray on this feast day of Our Lady of Fatima for the salvation of the world. We pray that all peoples in the world may be led to the heart of our Blessed Lord through the prayers of our Blessed Mother. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray especially for those who have left the faith or are struggling with their faith, that through the intercession and prayers of our Blessed Mother, the Holy Spirit may enter into their lives and bring them back into the flock of the Good Shepherd. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Continue to pray for all those who are working at this time, especially our nurses, our doctors, and our essential workers, that they may continue to be kept safe and and secure and not have any concerns or doubts enter into their minds. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for all those who are sick, all those who have been affected by any illness or disease, that the healing touch of Christ may enter into their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have died and gone before us. May they sleep in the breast of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray especially at this Mass for the intentions of Lisa Falcon, the repose of the soul of Alfredo Gonzalez, and all the names that have been inscribed into our Mother's Day Novena. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the quiet of our hearts, let us bring to our God our own prayers and petitions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Eternal God, you are divine and we, your branches. Listen, we pray as we are connected to you, to the prayers we bring humbly to you, for we ask them trusting in Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands have become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, Holy Father, this offering of our humility, which we bring with joy as we commemorate the Blessed Virgin Mary. And grant, we pray, that it may be for us who are joined to the sacrifice of Christ, our consolation on earth, and our eternal salvation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name in the, on the feast day of the Blessed Ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal life, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and power tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim Worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of Fatima, whom we honor today, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
drew him and went to man in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And at the Savior's command, the form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you all. Lamb of Lamb God. Of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Rejoice, O Virgin Mother, for Christ has risen from the tomb. Alleluia.
Let us pray. Renewed by this Paschal Sacrament, we pray, O Lord, that we, who honor the memory of the mother of your Son, may show forth in our mortal flesh the life of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God.